Hello and welcome to this edition of MCP Anime Talk. I'm Scott. And I'm Wade. And today we're talking about episode six and seven of Erased. Yeah, because we were we uh, kind of were busy last weekend, so we didn't want to record last week, and we had to catch up on it. So we're doing all in one episode. There's not going to be a rating because there's two episodes, yeah. and we're just going. You'll get the point if we liked it or not. Yeah. Um, so um, episode, f- uh, sorry, not five. Six. Episode six. Yeah. Sorry, episode six. Uh, starts off right where the last episode left off. Fire. Him and I. Fire. You know, uh, him and Irie get together. You know, he's like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, I want to meet up. You know, don't bring anybody. And that doesn't work out. Doesn't work out too well no. at all. Uh, uh, we're jumping ahead. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, um, he meets that reporter guy from his past. Yes. You know, he's like, you The know, one that his mom was talking to in the previous yeah. episode. So he's like, Not I, the previous, but he's like, I know my, uh, she never raised a son to kill her. And I'm like, that's, that's, you know, pretty cool. And he, it's kind of detective work. He's finding out that there's other sus- suspects and not just Yuki. And then at the end, he locks eyes with that killer. Yeah. And then just like, what? And it really kind of makes <clears throat> you wonder, like, who it is. I mean, for someone to be around this often, to know where he is... <laughs> You know what I mean? Kind of yeah. makes you wonder who this guy is. Yeah. I mean, to know where he's been, where Irie's been, you know, to know where his mother lives. <coughs> yeah. You know, it's this like, is... who could it be? And it kind of, it just, who knows? It's we... him from the future. Don't say that. What if that's true? It's not. Uh... Okay, as of right now, we don't know. Episode... So, if that it comes out to be true, sorry guys. Episode 7, uh, the next episode... Picks uh, up again. He goes back. He does the one last revival, supposed last revival. Yeah. Uh, but this time he gets Kenya involved. And yeah. He's become a mysterious kid. I think he knows more than he says he does. Who, Kenya? Yeah, I think he I knows. agree. I think, I think, he think knows there's more much. going on. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Here's another theory that I've seen people online Kenya's the one that killed him, killed her. I've been dwelling on that idea myself, <clears throat> actually. Um, the only reason I don't think it was Kenya. Is I don't see the motivation now. now after watching episode <laughs> seven, I don't see the motivation. Yeah, I mean, because it, it's it's, a, it's the guy has black hair, so it's not him. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we see uh, he's trying something new. He's gonna, you know, stop Yuki from being framed. Yeah. So he kind of, you know, I not understanding what his what his plan was. Yeah. Like 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 he was preoccupied because someone threw a rock through his window? Well, no. The idea was that if he throws the rock through the window, <laughs> when the police show up, Yuki will be home so the True. police can verify that okay. he was home the day of the murder. But I'll say this show, um, it's, it's a really good way of sh- kind of having heartwarming moments and tragic moments. And then they moments. take them away. <laughs> like the heartwarming moments, like this episode was more heartwarming. Majority of it was heartwarming where they, you know, they're in that little tr- boss and stuff. I like, kind of kidnap you. Yeah. And then she's like, yes. And it's really heartwarming. And then... You're rooting course, for these crazy kids, uh, Of man. course, the ending, you're just like, no. No, don't end there. Don't end there. But, um... <laughs> and one of the things I really liked, I was like, they're delving into topics that I don't... I haven't seen in a lot of animes. Yeah. And really in a lot of TV shows, period. Like, the idea of pedophilia, even. Unless it's SUV. Like... Yeah, SUV. SVU. But no, like, <laughs> like, delving into the possibility and, like, potentially Yuki being framed and trying to say, like, oh, they found all this pedophile, pedophile-like stuff and it's like, but that that wasn't there. I've been... Yeah. And, 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 and Satoru being like, I, I've been there. I, I know what he has. And that wasn't. So it kind of makes you wonder, like, what's really going on here? Is there something... You know, we're not getting... And we don't know that much about um, uh, Kaio's mom's boyfriend either. Yeah. Who knows? He could be with the cops. He could be trying to cover something up. There's also some of that, that politician thing. I don't know. Idea, that politician thing, that, that theory I'm not really sure about yet, but... What politician theory? Remember, like, how, like, they said, like, a councilman was kind of behind it that was at the restaurant in the last episode. Remember, it looked for the shift, and he just says he's a councilman. I don't understand. I don't think that's. I don't think that has anything to do with. That. I don't know. Only one way to find out, as you can tell. Sadly, we have to wait. We enjoyed. We enjoyed ourselves. Not going to bother with a rating. You can kind of get the idea. Yeah, it's good. We enjoyed it. I mean, this show's been constantly good. If you've seen our past reviews, you already know. Um, so that that's our review of episode six and seven of Erased. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, like this video. 
And you can also follow us on Twitter at Minkadish MCP. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash Minkadish Podcast. Instagram, Minkadish Productions. Also check us out on uh, MinkadishProductions.com. All right. So until next time, guys, we will catch you later.